Hey friends, welcome back to Krusty Cranks TV where we paint baits and make lures. And today we're going to be painting uh, these hologram um, jerk baits I picked up on Amazon, Free for Fisher brand. All right, um, and really they were kind of rough looking. I'll show you what kind of what the foil up here was coming loose. Um, they were kind of, I would say, cheap baits for sure. Um, so. In order to do that, I kind of got the foil to stick, and then I dipped them real quick in, in my epoxy and kind of sealed that foil in with the epoxy first. Um, you know, a lot of times when you get these foil baits, it's a good idea to go ahead and epoxy them. And then that way, once you uh, got your epoxy on there, you don't have to worry about the foil coming up, for one. And you can paint over top of this and kind of hide that seam so you won't have those seams showing on the top of your, or bottoms of your bait. Okay, so um, so I went on and dipped this thing one time. And I've got, uh, I've got 10 or 12 of these, and I'm going to do a... Do a few different patterns on them. I took, I did one already and it turned out really cool. Um, so I'm going to do that one here today. But I'll probably do three or four more baits. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's do this guy. And uh, the colors we're going to use today, we're going to first, we're going to hit the bottom. Oops, sorry, didn't mean to. We're going to hit the bottom with titanium white just to, so it gives us something to, to, cover over that seam a little bit those seam lines and then we're going to come back on top of that with a little pearl pearl white on the top we're going to do some gold some wicked colors gold pearl gold and then black and then we're going to come on top of that with uh, this bright gold brown Vallejo shifters the color shifters paint and this stuff is really cool if you haven't picked up some of this go go to your hobby lobby and pick some of that up because You'll get a five, let's see, six colors in the set. And I still haven't even used them all. I've just been using a couple of them. But uh, I threw this one on the black on top of the back, and you'll get to see what it does. It, it's a really cool looking bait fish color, really. Um, what I like about them is they give that body that shiny, uh, kind of iridescent color changing um, that you see on a, on a, on a real fish. A lot of times um so yeah let's let's get this guy done and um so what we're going to do is we're going to put a little titanium in there and just cover that bottom just a little bit and let's get some cleaner out of here i always put a little cleaner in my brushes when they're sitting around um, just keep a couple drops in the bottom of them. It keeps your needle from drying up and sticking. And um, it kind of soaks in and for a while and gets a lot of that color that's down in there that, that you need to clean out of your brush. Um, it it's just a really good idea um, to keep a few drops in there. That's just what I do. Anyway, let me get this just a little bit higher so we can see all right so i'm just going to take and um spray this bottom a little bit and i want to kind of hide these these seams but i don't want to cover up too much of the of the bait just want enough to hide that bottom I want that to show through. All right, that's about it right there. And that way you don't you don't see your seam marks. All right. All right now let's. Uh, I already got some pearl white in my other brush, and uh, when I put my pearl white in, I like to uh, I like to use a little forty eleven. 4011 reducer it just helps that pearl white spray so much better um, and then you don't even really have to wait too much if you spray your titanium on there you can go back right away with your pearl white and really we just want this to catch the to catch that Vallejo color a little bit You 
You'll see what it does when we get to the end. All right, I'll clean this, clean these out, and I'll bring you right back. Okay, next we're going with the with the gold, and we're going to gold on the top. Um, we'll give it a little a little spray here just to come down the sides a little bit. And I'm not too worried about hiding that seam with the gold because I'm going to hit that with the black. But I want that gold to kind of come down the sides of my of my hologram here a little bit. I don't want it heavy where it hides the the hologram. It's going to really pop out in the uh, in the epoxy. So just want enough to see a little bit of that gold down the sides. All right. I always try to come down to about the lateral line a little bit on everything when I'm doing a, a blend to, to white or silver okay um, and we're gonna let this dry for a minute while while I'm letting that dry I was gonna say that uh, so far I've had uh, seven lure trades with people um, so if you're a painter and you're watching my videos I'd love to trade lures with you uh, send me an email and the emails in the description I've had seven people and um, if you've got stickers, you know, I'll take a sticker and a, 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 a lure and I'll send you a sticker and a lure as well. And uh, so yeah, it's pretty cool seeing everybody's lures. Um, like I said, I've got seven different trades. Um, not everybody had stickers, so don't worry about it if you don't have a sticker. But if you do and you want to get to see your sticker at the end of my videos, um, just let me, you know, make sure you send me a sticker. I'll send you one back. And at the end, um, you'll see that I have some stickers from people that I've done lower trades with and a couple people. And uh, so, yeah, I'd love to have your have your uh, your lower. Send me an email, though. Don't put your address and stuff in the comments or or in the uh, community board. So, yeah. And if you haven't checked out my community board now, since I'm over 500 subscribers, I have a community board. So, you know, go check that out. I'm going to start posting up pics of stuff that I'm doing that I actually maybe maybe will do a video on or haven't done a video with yet. But, um, yeah, I'd love this. I'd love to have one of your lures. Um, if you're a beginner painter, that's fine. I, you know, um, yeah, I'd love to have one of your lures as well. You know, everybody was a beginner at one point, so I like to see your work, and I'd love to have one for my collection. I'm starting a collection and um, of other people's lures, and uh, yeah, it'd be really cool. So if you're interested in doing that, shoot me an email. My email's in the description, and um, you know we'll trade addresses and we'll we'll trade off a lure. And if you got a sticker. You can send me a sticker, and I'll put it at the end of my videos. I'd um, love to fill my board up with uh, with everybody's stickers. So, you know, plus it'll help kind of get your name out there, get your company out there. If you're selling lures, and uh, you know, it's just a little bit of free advertisement for you, just trading a lure with me. So, so yeah, I'd love to do that. And uh, um, then I want to give a shout out to Morgan. Um, he's one of my top supporters. He's been watching my channel since the beginning. He always comments and, and stuff and uh, he wanted to know where I've been. And uh, uh, honestly, I've been busy painting baits. I've been busy doing a lot of orders. Um, we just started our soft plastics division. So um, we'll be doing a little bit of soft plastics. I got a good video coming up on some, some basic lures. If you just basic want to make your own uh, soft plastics i got something coming up for you for that to show you what uh what some of the, the the cheaper molds look like and what kind of work they do um so yeah um appreciate everybody that's subscribing and and uh joining the channel it's, it's, it's awesome All right, um, so next we're going to put on the black. We're going to just put a little bit of black on the back. Whenever you're using these color shifting um, paints, 
should have cleaned out my brush whenever you're using these color shifts you definitely want to try try it on black first if you really want to see how good the color looks it's just it's it really makes it uh the color shifts show up awesome um if you have checked out the jerk bait video i did with the other color shift color you know go check that one out um but i'm really I've got six colors and I haven't really played around with all of them yet. So, uh, these hologram baits, they really, really turn out cool on these foil baits, which is, uh, I'm going to do a few videos on these just to show you if you're interested in getting some of those. If you're interested in getting some of those, you'll be able to see what they look like. And I am using my new, well, it's not really new now. I've been using it for quite some time, but I did get me, finally get me a Iwata HP CS. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a good brush. Um, I, I don't know. I, uh, I still like the master I'm using, the 233. I'm just so used to it and so used to the pressures that, how to set my pressures and everything. And I put a smaller needle in it. And, uh, I don't know, I'm just, you get used to something, but I'm, I'm, I'm using this HPCS for, uh, for a lot of detail work. It does shoot a nice little detail fine line. I've got a, a 0.35 needle in it and, uh, I, I like spraying on over stencils with it and I like, uh, doing real fine it has real good trigger control and uh, let's, so let's going to put a little pearl black down the back Turn this down just a little bit more. I want to come just down the side just a little bit, not much. Because I still want that gold to show up. And I'm going to spray the face. Down in the eye sockets. what we're going to stay with all right so i'm going to dry this and clean out the brush and i'll bring you right back okay so got my brush all cleaned out you want to clean out your brush real good before you put this stuff in and we're using the Leho the shifters um bright gold brown and um i believe the pack i got was called fairy dust i think that was what the what the uh box was of these six colors um shake them up real good you want to make sure you shake them up and you only want to put a few drops in there you don't need much because you end up wasting it and this stuff's expensive so just put you a few drops in there just enough to cover the bottom of the bowl just a little bit so you don't spray no air and uh on top of this black and gold this color looks awesome kind of gives it that green you can already see I don't know if you can tell on the camera and you really don't see the benefits of it a lot until you've uh, until you get the epoxy on there and then I hit the whole bait because it really makes that hologram even better face real good and you can see it's already got that green gold shift to it okay and you got to kind of go a little heavier when you're going over top of a white 
for it to really stand out. But that's it, guys. That's that's all we got to it. And we're going to epoxy this guy up, get some eyes on it. Let's get some eyes on it next. And um, you're going to see how good it looks when we get the epoxy on it. So let me get my eyes ready, and um, we'll, I'll bring you right back. Okay, um, I think we're going to go with this gold eye yellow gold just because it'll really stand out on this on this bait and you definitely probably want to use a little super glue on these guys um, just because once you got that epoxy on there um, it kind of fills the hole in a little bit so you want to make sure you get Get that eye stuck in there real good. I'm all out of my uh, favorite super glue, so I had to run up to the dollar store and just grab a little tube of Loctite. Oh, yeah. A little dabber here. And if you're new to the channel, I appreciate you guys subscribing. I'm almost over. I just broke over 600 subscribers. And to me, that's, that is so awesome. I appreciate all you guys that are watching and commenting and encouraging me to keep going. I try to, on this channel, try to show you a lot of different color combinations, especially if you're new to painting. Um, I try to I try to come up with good color combinations that go together um, instead of just paint a, paint and crawl patterns over and over again for you I'd rather do things that uh, you can learn f and see actual color combinations because to me that's the challenge of it is coming up with good color combinations that go together and um, using different stencils and things like that um, as you guys know I make my own stencils um, but I did get some new stencils in that I'm gonna show you a video on but I try to do the things that not everybody's doing all the all the time and uh, I hope if you're a beginner painter you you can pick up and learn some things from the videos especially about color combinations um because color for me is is everything i've spent uh over 35 years in the printing industry so um i dealt a lot with color in the printing industry so um i try to focus the same thing on bait painting is give you guys good ideas of colors and combinations of colors that go together um, and same way when I'm putting on eyes and things like that I try to try to give you good combinations of uh, stuff that goes together so there it is with the gold eye on there looks pretty good I'll get some epoxy on it I'll bring you back and we'll wrap this video up Okay, friends, we're back, and here's the finished piece. Looks pretty good. I think you can really see that color shifting now. Um, okay, so colors we used today was Titanium White by Golden. We used Pearl Wicked Pearl White on the bottom, and we used Wicked Pearl Gold on the top. On top of the gold, we come back with a little pearlized black. And then the color shift we used was the Vallejo bright gold brown and um, yeah I like the way it turned out um, when you look at these you'll see the green like see the green to the brown to the gold that's pretty much representation of what you're gonna get don't really go by the names too much because it says bright gold brown but there it does turn it to a, a shift from a green 
to a to a gold to a brown so um yeah i like the way it turned out um again i appreciate everybody subscribing to the channel i appreciate all the good comments and the encouragement i get um again if you haven't if you want to trade a lure get down my email and uh email me and send me your address and i'll uh ship you out a lure of mine and a sticker if you got a sticker you get to be on the board um i got a big board here i want to fill this board up with your stickers and it'll give you a little free advertisement so yeah um i appreciate everybody watching and stay tuned for the next one and always remember stay crusty my friends